Hello there, and welcome to another tutorial from me, the Programster. Um, today we're going to be covering sessions in PHP. Um, here we will be using a MySQL database to store our session data. This way, if we are using multiple web servers, they can all stay in sync with the session data. Whereas if you just use the the, the default in PHP, it'll be so saving to local files, so your sessions will not be consistent across your web servers, which could be a bit of a problem depending on if you've got a reverse proxy that's smart enough to redirect. Well, we won't bother getting into that. Let's just say uh, using uh, MySQL to handle your session data is a good idea. All right, so um, this is really simple. I took a existing project, forked it, fixed it, and made it better. So you can now just go to search for GitHub Programster uh, Session Handling, and hopefully you'll find this. Um, here is the full URL if you care to read it. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to create a new project. So CD desktop, uh, my no, sorry, no, sessions. Uh, okay. Um, looks like already. All right. So let's get rid of that. I'm just for sessions. Let's create a new project called sessions, CD sessions. And then all we got to do. To install the package is just run this, so copy, paste. That will download the latest stable version, which is 0.1.1. I'll probably push that to 1.0 now. I've tested it. Um, and then create your index file, right, for your web server. So I've got this example right here, but actually I'm going to do one better. Let's just get rid of this. Oh. Cancel. Let's start NetBeans. I was like using an IDE for new project, PHP, browse, desktop sessions. Okay, cool. It requires 7.0. I use I like to use types now. Alright. So I've got this script line around that I've been testing with, so I'm gonna to save time. Uh, new PHP file. Index. All right, so just an explanation. Um, I will create a new settings file. Uh, bear with me one sec. All right, so we need to create a settings file. So let's do a settings. And let's define, nope, define. Obviously, this is a bit annoying. Uh, 10, 2, 0, 2, 8. I was just making sure my database was running correctly. Uh, so, for this example, I've created a user called user. Uh, obviously, don't do that in production. And I put my, for example, I've also set the password to password. And then define, I've set the DB. I call it sessions. All right. So those are my database details. Obviously, yours might be different. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to create um, our new MySQL database connection. I'm going to create our little handler. I pass it the database, and I tell it what table I want it to be called for sessions. So I called it my sessions table. Feel free to just call it sessions. Um, and then I set this to the handler. I tell PHP to use it, and I start my session. And now. Um, I check if I already have a session variable, so this tests the read works, and if I don't, I'm going to set it to whatever the current timestamp is, and I'm outputting a message saying I've set it. If the session is already, if the session variable already exists, which means that the session is working and you've refreshed the page, then I'll just show what the existing session variable already is. So we'll get a time, and then it will never change. All right, so let's start her up. So. This is my from use sessions. This is my database. I've set to the show tables. All right, so I don't have any tables right now. You might notice. All right, CD desktop 
sessions. All right, so I'm in my project folder. I'm gonna run the script, and it set this. Oh, sorry. Obviously, it won't work in what I really want to do. PHP -s setting up, setting up a web server to test with. All right. So now, all right. I set the time. It sets the time to that. I'm just going to show that that is now. So that was five seconds ago. Obviously, it took me five seconds to put that in. And if I keep refreshing, it doesn't change. So, and now, just to prove it works here, show tables. Yeah, I did show tables a second ago. There was nothing. Now there's my sessions table. You select star from my sessions table. And there's my session data. Uh, one from the script I ran earlier by accident, and one from here. Uh, to show it working again, I can use Chrome. So I'll put up a new, this will set a new session. And then, so that I should expect that to be in here. And there you are, it's set that one up. So there you go, setting up PHP to use MySQL to hold your session data couldn't be easier now. Hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you next time.